All right, if you guys can't tell, it's the thumbnail from last video. We're gonna go install this in my Miata, and I'm gonna walk you guys step through step. Okay, we'll start by removing your battery terminal. I just did it with a 10 mil. I removed the positive. You can't remove the negative too, it doesn't matter. I'm probably gonna remove both, just in case. All right, step into the car, hit your horns, hit your headlights, make sure you have no power to the vehicle, and then you're gonna remove one 10 mil back here, here, here and here, there should be four all together. I'm gonna do that right now and then the airbag should pop out. Okay, I decided to use an electric grass and made it a little bit easier, but now the airbag should just pop out. Correct. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. It just popped out of that little clip. So I'm gonna take these two harness connectors off and then I'll be right back to you guys. Oh, by the way, you can move the wheel as much as you need during the progress, like process to like get this one because I know the stock right here is hard. And same as this one, just make sure you center it or lock it how it is now back when you're done, because that's very important to make sure your wheel is always gonna be straight. Okay, okay, that harness is super easy. Make sure you move the orange one first. Sometimes it won't let the blue one pop out. It all depends on your car though. So either disconnect it, I'm gonna find the size for this, and I'm gonna tell you guys how to take this off without hurting yourself. Okay, the 21 millimeter. I'm gonna use this big gun. You do not have to. You can use a ratchet or even a 3 8 gun. Just make sure the steering wheel's locked. That broke off, that broke off so easy that it's scary. It's loose. You're not gonna wanna back it off all the way and take it off because we're gonna have to hit the steering wheel towards us. So I'm gonna do that now. That was easy. All these clips are a second from each other. Just hit like this and like this with both hands and it shouldn't become loose. You're gonna take this bolt off. It's gonna take me a second. Make sure you keep it on. You don't wanna hurt yourself. Make sure you keep that bolt. You're gonna reuse that. The steering wheel should just literally lift off now. Perfect. All right, we're in here now. Got the hub. We're gonna have to line it up with the clock spring. Don't try not to turn your clock spring. This might take a little time, you never know. Harness is gonna tuck into the back of this, all right? I'm gonna wire the wires through right now and I'll be back so you guys whisk it on there. Okay, so that was super simple. You're gonna make sure there's notches in the back. That's gotta line up with your clock spring. See, it's not even on there. I just have this slightly you know, on. You're gonna make sure your horn is all the way through. Make sure you connect the blue clip and then the orange clip. So next, I'm gonna make sure the horn works. And I um, think we should be good. I gotta make sure, cause the wheel is turned a little bit, which is my fault. I'm gonna make sure it's all good. Okay, it took a little bit of realigning, but we're here now and it's gonna be straight on there or crooked a little cause I locked my wheel. We're gonna take our socket and this is subjective. You don't have to do this, I suggest it. The torque spec for this is 36 foot pounds. So we're gonna tighten this as much as we can by hand. It's gonna be a little tight cause it is a nylon lock nut. All right, so we're gonna take our torque wrench and we're gonna torque it down to 36 foot pounds. Turn until you hear the click. Now you're tight. You can rent a torque wrench in most auto zones and they're really cheap at Harbor Freight. It's good for the one time use you'll need it for. All right, just finished the horn button assembly. You're gonna put it in the wheel. Try to line it up with the plate in the back as much as possible. You're gonna push until you hear a snap of that orange clip going in, it's hard to see. And then you're gonna put your snap ring back in with the ring ink in this assembly. Now I'm gonna bolt it up and connect the horn. Make sure you hold the back of the horn button when putting that connector on. Okay, I have the top bolt in and the bottom bolt in. You're gonna wanna do these like first, I think, and then you're gonna wanna tighten each one and almost a star pattern. Make sure you do it evenly. Do not over tighten these bolts. They do strip easily. These are the nicest hardware bolts I've seen from a hub company, but I'm still scared they're Allen's. They both strip. Okay, now that all of these are tight and your horn button is in and it all looks good, I think this is awesome, especially with the cover I have. Makes it look OEM. If you don't wanna be like, you know, all that, we're gonna go connect the battery now. So just take your positive terminal, plop it, plop it right back on, and I'm gonna tighten down the bolt right here, which is usually a 10, but it could be different in your car. Okay, my car's freaking out because I left the hazards on, but hopefully this works. <laughs> yes, it does, that's perfect. All right, so that's how you guys install a, uh, I, I wanna say it's the, the Cadi, the Birdie, something like that hub and a OEM Mazda Momo steering wheel in your NA Miata goes for NB2 though. <laughs> Works great. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more installs like this.